Alrighty, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Ray Tone and today's video I'm going to be showcasing you guys basically the best settings that you can play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shine Pro on PC with the Ryu Jinx emulator. But before we get started with the video, please make sure you guys leave a like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, when you go to the settings tab, on the Ryu Jinx emulator, it's not much. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that it's not much, but there's a way that you can basically optimize your settings as long as you have a graphics card. And usually with that, most of the cases with that, you just go to your NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you guys are familiar with my videos, you guys should know that this is one of the big steps that I use to get um, the best performance out of my PC as much as possible. Now, I'm not gonna go step by step through this because I explained this many times in my videos before. Like if, if you guys see what I have here, just copy, feel free to copy. Because these settings have worked, worked wonders for me for years. Let's apply this here. Manage 3D settings. Now, I would say the most, I'll say there's really three important tabs that you should um, look out for when you're going in the video um, control panel. There's vertical sync, which is V-Sync. If you're trying to play games um, past 30 FPS, you gotta basically turn it off. Triple buffering, um, you can turn it on and off. It depends how your experience with the with the certain games you're playing on the emulator. If you're experiencing a lot of lag, a lot of buffering, obviously turn it off. On shared cache, that's probably the most important thing in emulation because when you're playing the game, it's trying to basically um, stop it from stuttering. So it's building shared cache to make the experience better when you're playing the game. So I'll say the shared cache is probably the most important, if not the most important when it comes to emulation. And after you do that, go to program settings. Make sure you have Ryu Jinx added. But it's a really big part on the publish. Just browse real quick. The desktop. The publish. Click on Ryu Jinx. And then boom. Now make sure your settings is how how the way you prefer it to be. If not, <laughs> things are probably not gonna go too well. And then after that, got that set up real quick. You basically right here. Yeah. High performance of video processor. And then you apply it. After that, you close it out. And you're basically all set to go. I would show gameplay, but uh, Nintendo, Nintendo with emulation. So if I do show gameplay, the video probably will get claimed. So I'm not trying to risk it in today's video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the best settings when you're playing. Um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pro on a PC with the Ryu Jinx emulator. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Ray. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.